Hi guys, welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. Julian here. I hope you are doing well and you are having a good time, whatever you're doing or wherever you're living. I'm happy again to introduce to you several new guitars which arrived recently in our shop. But before we start, I want to draw your attention to a concert which is going to be exceptional. If you live near Switzerland and you still didn't plan anything for the Friday, November 3rd, I would recommend the concert of Andrea De Vitis in Basel. And you will find the link to purchase the tickets in the video description. Let's go! This guitar is, for me personally, always one of the highlights. This is a guitar from 1963 made by Hernández y Aguado from Madrid. And I'm always so impressed by the guitars made by Hernández y Aguado. They have something in the tone, in the color, in the sound color that I just can't explain. It's so beautiful and it's so well balanced. It's a, it has a very elegant and beautiful tone. So the quality of the tone is really wow. This guitar has a spruce top and Brazilian rosewood back and sides. And it has of course a traditional fan bracing. Enough talking, let's play. I just want to let the guitar speak and I try to speak less. The tone of this guitar is, you, you can't hear or find this kind of tone in any guitar. This is very unique. It has also a very good clarity. So if you play a chord, you can hear every interval and um, this is an exceptional guitar. I will play more on it. This guitar is like an orchestra. You, you have to be able to control this guitar because it reacts very good, very fast to what you're doing. And um, I don't know what else to say.
to be honest, I could play the whole day on this guitar. This is something different for me personally than other guitars. Um, I wish you had the chance to try this guitar um, by yourself and yeah, I hope the video is helpful to have an idea of the sound of this Hernandez y Aguado guitar from 1963. And let's move to the next guitar. This beauty is coming from Italy and it's made by Daniele Maravello from Milano and it has the number 165. It's a traditionally built guitar and it has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. And it has a traditional seven fan bracing. The guitars by, made by Daniele Marabello are very, very well and fine built guitars with a very beautiful tone, traditional sound. And uh, yeah, let's play a few notes on it. It's like a pedal of a piano. It has such a long sustain combined with a very beautiful tone. As I always say, Italian tone, Italian tone quality. And beautiful vibratos. tones are so long wow also noticed is the wide dynamic range of this guitar. You can get louder and the guitar has still a very good tone quality. Because this guitar has a very long sustain, you can allow yourself to wait for a longer time on a tone. And if you are playing some pieces, some ballads, so you have, of course, more possibilities to design your piece. I have to find another word for design the piece. Um, I know it's German, but I have to look, it, look for it in English. Anyway, if you are playing a phrase like this. can wait but if the tones are very short like this of 
course you have to play faster you have to go to the next chord so it means this guitar allows you to be more free if you are playing a piece and uh, one last piece What an enjoyable guitar to play. Congrats to Daniele Marabello for this beautiful sounding instrument. Wow. And let's move to the next guitar. Well, we stay in Italy and we'll have a look at the new guitar of Marco Ligioi. This guitar is brand new. It has a number 21 and we have had already a few guitars by Marco and uh, we have always received very good feedbacks about his guitars and this one is a new model it's a double top guitar the previous ones were, were traditionally built and this is a double top model with a spruce top and cocobolo back and sides and like the other guitars made by Marco Ligioi I like the rosette a lot because it reminds you or the intention of Marco is also that the rosette reminds the Milky Way and universe. Uh, it's a beautiful work, and um, but let's see how the guitar sounds. I think he definitely reached his goal to make a double top guitar because it sounds really like a double top guitar. It's very responsive, it has a very fast response and uh, it's very loud. Wow. Yeah, if you compare it to the guitar made by Daniele Marabeo, the Marabeo guitar had a more longer sustain but a more slower response and this is the opposite it has a very fast response but less sustain and it makes sense it's a double top guitar and uh, it always depends to what kind of sound you're looking for this is a very it has a very airy sound very full bodied However, you have still that Italian tone. It sounds very sweet. And you are able to create a lot of colors. If a double top guitar is able to do it, then you know it's a good guitar.
basis. I'm impressed. Congrats to Marco Di Gioi for this guitar. It has the power of a double top guitar. It's loud and responsive, but I also like the color. So, wow. Let's move to the next guitar. The next guitar is kind of a very new guitar to me because I never have played a guitar made by the young German guitar luthier Paul Hildebrand from Mark Neukirchen. It's actually not that far from where Zikas is located. And uh, so I'm very curious about this guitar. First of all, the first impression is very beautiful, very fine uh, craftsmanship and uh, yeah, it looks so good. And it's a traditionally built guitar, so the construction of the top is traditional, but uh, it has some modern elements like the elevated fingerboard and also the sides of the guitar are laminated and yeah, it's made of Indian rosewood, the back and sides, with some beautiful decoration and bendings. I'm discovering this guitar <laughs> somehow. I'm very curious how it sounds. Let's try it. My first impression, very loud and forward going guitar and bright. It sounds bright, it doesn't have a boxy sound which is only loud. It's going forward, it's very bright and loud. It's a very well resonating guitar. It has also a very singing first string. It 
It's a guitar to discover and it invites you also to play more and to try different sounds and colors and techniques. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious about your opinion about this guitar made by the German guitar luthier Paul Hildebrand. Sorry, Hildebrand. And yeah, let's move to the... No, it's not the last guitar. The next guitar is made by Wolfgang Jellinghaus from Germany, from Dortmund. Dortmund is actually a city near of Iserlohn, where I was uh, living for a few years. And um, this is a Arias model, Arias 88. And um, first of all, this guitar is so light, especially the body, the corpus of the guitar is just... You have to be careful. If it's windy, the guitar is gone. This guitar has a spruce top and cypress back and sides. That's also why it's so light. Honestly, this is too light. It's a very weird feeling if I have this guitar in the hand because uh, I used to heavier guitars. But anyway, let's try the sound. What do you think? It has a very bright and also forward going sound. I actually said it also about the Paul Hildebrand guitar, but still they sound completely different. But this is also a very, very loud guitar, at least in this position. And it has also very deep basses. Let's discover more on it. This is a really great guitar, especially if you consider the price tag of this guitar. It has a special tone. It's very bright, but not too thin. So it's round and full bodied, but still bright. Let me know what do you think about the sound of this guitar. I think it's 
somehow it's a mix of a lot of guitars. It's loud, bright, it responds very well, and but what is unique is the weight of this guitar. This is okay. I told you already about that. Um, let's move to the next guitar. And this guitar is a piece of history. It's made by the French-born guitar luthier Louis Panormo, who were one of the masters of guitar luthery of his time. And this guitar is built in 1830. 30, 1830. So it means... Uh, it's nearly 200 years old and can imagine how many pieces and melodies have been played on this guitar and how many artists have played this guitar. Um, so it's a romantic guitar. It has a spruce top and maple back and sides and it has of course a smaller and thinner corpus. You know what, the piece, uh, what I usually play on the guitars, to showcase the guitars, Ständchen by Franz Schubert, has been composed in 1828. And this guitar has been built in 1830. I think I will start with the Schubert's Ständchen on this guitar. Wow, this is a very unique vibe to play a piece which has been composed 200 years ago on a guitar which has built also 200 years ago and um, of course I'm not used to that because it has a thinner and smaller guitar neck and body and I have to adjust to this guitar but it has a beautiful vintage tone. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful experience to play on this guitar. Beautiful. I think you have to play some sore pieces or etudes on this guitar because, yeah, these kind of guitars are probably the guitars that Fernando Zor composed these pieces on, uh, on those instruments. And uh, I don't know if I have something to play by Zor. And so on but you see how suitable these pieces are to this kind of guitars or to these romantic guitars it's not that suitable for modern pieces but if you are 
playing the repertoire, the romantic repertoire or the classical repertoire, this guitar sounds great on those pieces. And let's move to the last guitar of this week. And the last guitar of this week is made by probably one of the most famous Chinese guitar makers, Yulong Guo. And this guitar is a very special model. It's the 40th anniversary edition and uh, it has a French polish on the top. It has an arm set. It has cedar top and beautiful Indian rosewood back and sides with some additional decorations and elevated fingerboard. And the Yulungu guitars sounds very loud. And this model is also called chamber concert model. I think the chamber concert is also related to the loudness and the power of the of this guitar. And um, yeah, let's play a few notes on it. And I'm curious what you say about the Yulongu guitar. <laughs> As you can hear, it's a powerful guitar with a very fast response and airy sound. And as I told you before um, about the sound of the double top guitars and the traditional guitars, um, also this guitar doesn't have the longest sustain, but it has a very responsive sound and very loud sound. I mean, it's a double top model, so that's why you hear this kind of sound. And it makes the life easier for a lot of guitarists if the guitar has a forward going sound and fast response. The Yulungu guitar, 40th anniversary, the number 77 of that anniversary model. Responsive sounding guitar, very loud. And I think also the treble sound very natural. Very sweet sound. I'm curious about your opinion, as always. And it was also the last guitar of this week. We had this week a lot of different sounding guitars with different constructions so it will be a nice comparison 
And if the video was helpful for you to have a better idea of the sound of these guitars, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do that already. I wish you a happy weekend and see you next week.